the winds howled over the desolate moors, carrying with them mournful cries of centuries past. Advrek Castle stood alone, its crumbling walls a stark reminder of the power and pride that once ruled over these lands. But beneath the cold stone and the dark waters of Loch Asnet, a deeper tale lingered, a tale of betrayal, curses and restless spirits that refused to fade with time. Long ago, when the MacLeods of Asnet held dominion over these lands, the castle was a fortress of strength and ambition. It was said that Ian MacLeod, the chief, was a man of great pride and his family was destined for greatness. But the clan's rise to power came at a terrible price. The first stone of Advrek Castle was laid under the ominous gaze of the mountains, with a promise whispered to the winds. Desperate for power and protection, Ian MacLeod made a pact with a mysterious stranger who appeared on the eve of the castle's completion. The, man's, the man with eyes as cold as the loch's waters promised that the castle would stand for eternity, impervious to the ravages of time and war. In exchange, he demanded a soul. The terms were grim. The soul of the first person to die within the castle's walls would belong to the stranger. Thinking it a small price to pay, MacLeod agreed. But fate would twist the bargain into a cruel irony. The first death within the castle was not that of an enemy or a servant. It was the beloved daughter of Ian MacLeod. The young maiden, Elsa, had fallen in love with a wandering bard who had come to entertain the clan. When her father discovered the affair, he forbade it, demanding she marry a powerful ally to strengthen the clan's influence. Distraught and heartbroken, Elsa threw herself from the castle's highest tower into the icy depths of Loch Asnet. The stranger returned that night to claim his prize, and from that moment Advrek Castle was cursed. The soul of Elsa was bound to the castle, her spirit condemned to wander its empty halls, her weeping cries heard on nights when the wind and the lost waters were still. But Elsa was not the only spirit trapped by Advrek's curse. Years later, another figure of tragedy arrived at the castle, the Marquis of Montrose. A nobleman betrayed and captured by his enemies. He was held in the dungeon, his fate sealed by treachery. As the night of his execution drew near, Montrose prayed for mercy, but none came. His final night was spent in, in the darkness, where he swore vengeance upon those who had wronged him. The 
They say that on stormy nights, the ghost of the Marquis can be seen pacing the castle grounds, his shadowy figure cloaked in sorrow and rage. Some claim to have heard his voice whispering curses into the wind, seeking retribution that would never come. As the years passed, the MacLeod's fortune waned and the curse of Adrek took its toll. The clan lost its lands, its power and its castle, which fell into ruin, but the spirits remained, bound to the stones and the waters of Loch Asnet, their fate sealed by the greed and betrayal of those long gone. Today, Advrek Castle stands as a silent sentinel over the loch. Its ruins are testament to a time when power was pursued at any cost. But those who visit these ancient stones should tread lightly, for the whispers of the past still echo across the loch and the spirits of the curse may yet be watching. As the mist rolls in and the shadows lengthen, the souls of Advrek stir once more, their eternal vir vigil unbroken, a haunting reminder that some bargains should never be made and some curses can never be undone. Beneath the moon, on ascent shore, were loch and sky forevermore. Reflect the past in silver waves, to restless souls their secrets save. Elsa weeps in midnight's grasp, her love and life in shadows clasp. She wanders still by sorrow chained, her heart sweet dreams forever stained. The Marcus proud in dungeons keep, his spirit stirs, denied of sleep. Betrayed by fate, his honour torn, he walks the night in silence worn. In Advrek's ruins, time stands still, where wind and water bend to will, to spirits bound by pain and loss, their paths entwined by cruelest cross. They meet in mist where shadows blend, 
and sorrow shared their story's end. Elsa's tears, the Marquis's sigh, two haunted souls beneath the sky. Yet in their grief, a peace they find, an echo soft, their spirits bind, and through the dark, where whispers roam, together they have found a home.